then I can pull the maximum trigger. Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Shark Cordless Pet Vacuum Cleaner. Here I got a big mess on hardwood floors. We're also gonna see how it cleans on carpet. So this is how it's in the stored position. It's got two positions, hardwood floor and carpet. And then we have a max button that is spring loaded. So we're simply gonna install it and then we're ready to go. Okay, so we got a big mess here on the floor with some dog hair and some kitty litter. We're gonna put it on hardwood floors. Then I can pull the maximum trigger for maximum suction. It rolls really easy. It pivots really good. Let's try up against the wall. You know, it did a pretty good job for the first, going over it a couple times. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the carpet switch. Let's try it on carpet. I'm gonna pull the maximum trigger. This is a pretty big mess. It rolls really easy on carpet. It's not super loud either. It pivots really well. Now that green light lets me know that the roller is turning at the proper speed. That will turn red if it's got a jam. All right, let me let go of the max trigger. Not bad. Okay, so let's simulate taking it to the trash can. You're gonna press this release button. Again, that's the max button I was pushing and it's got two speeds. Take it over to the trash can and again, the release button's right here. It's got a trap door, everything's gonna come out. And again, close it. I really like that you can like, and then here's how you're gonna store it again and plug in the charger. But I love that you can make this for cleaning stairs. Attach this right to this. And this makes cleaning stairs really, really easy. And then you can also just put the attachments right here or you can put them on the end of the wand. That's a pretty cool feature. The battery status is right here when you're charging it. You're gonna get three lights to let you know the status of the battery. Okay, so this retails used, I got this used off of Amazon, $160. You know, I don't prefer these shark vacuum cleaners where you gotta hold the max button. You know, and then you got two positions. This doesn't have HEPA filtration. Again, down in here, this is not a HEPA filter. There are some sharks where this filter is an actual HEPA filter. And I did notice that I'm getting some... Nope. Get this the right way. I did notice I am getting some hair wrap around this, which you can cut off once in a while, but I don't see anything to help prevent that hair wrap. Now again, Shark does sell some other vacuum cleaners. Um, this one... I like when they have the buttons that you turn them on and there's no trigger to pull. You just pick what mode you want. Um, I'm not sure exactly what model this one is. This is the Shark Dual Fins Power Fins. Let me see if I can find the model number. This one has two batteries. This is the model number IZ682H. I really do like this one. It comes with two batteries, a lot more expensive. And this is a HEPA filter. So you see the difference there with the HEPA filter. Um, I'm not sure why they would release one without a HEPA filter, but, and again, this one, it folds up nice and easy. Like it a little bit better, but this one, not sure why they're calling it a pet. Um, you know, it's just a pretty, this is their pretty standard, cheaper version of their vacuum cleaner. Again, the two buttons, didn't feel like the suction was all that good. I typically hold that button all, because I want maximum suction all the time, you know. So I'm using that a lot, but for everyday messes, I think it would be okay without using that. So, you know, not too bad of a, of a you know, if you can get these things cheap enough, they're okay. And then you always have to remember, it took me the longest time to remember how to store them like that, so. There's no onboard tool storage. You have to plug the charger in yourself. Yeah, I will put a link to this in the show description because at the right price, $160 right now, that's not too bad of a price. Those other sharks can get pretty expensive for those extra features. So this is a cheap way to get a shark vacuum cleaner that is cordless. Again, uh, I did buy this with my own money. 
I would probably spend a little bit more on a little bit different vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to be comparing this to other sharks, Dyson, lots of comparisons coming on this vacuum cleaner. So be sure and check out those videos. I'll put a link to it in the show description notes. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, just a dad over there. I do free giveaways on Instagram and Facebook. My Facebook group page is just a dad videos. I do free giveaways. If you could hit a thumbs up on my YouTube channel, that really helps me out and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see robot vacuum cleaners, cordless vacuum cleaners, coffee makers, you know, anytime Shark Ninja release anything brand new, I buy it with my own money and do a review on it. So really appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.